Welcome back to part 17 of this series where we're building a quiz application with AngularJS. And in this video, we're going to implement the markup and logic for a little prompt that we'll display at the end of the quiz to allow the user to transition from the quiz and into the results area. So hopping into our HTML, we're going to add this right at the end of our row that we created for the questions just in here and we'll create a well we'll make it a small well and just on here we'll add an ng show because we only want this area to show when the finalize flag has been set and then inside here we'll create a row and a quick full width column and then an h3 that just says are you sure you want to submit your answers and then two buttons button one will say yes button two will say no and then on here we'll add a class give it a class of button and button success which will give it that nice green color and on this one we'll give it a class of button and button dan danger now we want to add an ng click onto both of these buttons to add some functionality something needs to happen when the user clicks yes or no so on the no we just want to set quiz dot finalize equal to false so we don't always have to pass in functions to ng click we can also pass in simple declarations like this and say quiz dot finalize equals false so this area only displays when quiz.finalize is true. And then if we click no, we want to go back to the quiz. So we just set finalize to false and that will remove this and send us back to the quiz. And then on this one, we say ng click and we will run a function that we haven't created yet and we'll call it finalize answers and we need to create that soon. So now if we just save here and head back into the browser, start the quiz and just quickly skip through till the end of the quiz. So we've got a little bug there we need to fix, but what's occurring here is we're getting the prompt up and the question is also remaining up there. And I would like to remove the question when we display the prompt, just so the user is 100% sure what they have to do, because right now they can still continue clicking continue and that'll do nothing. So we want to remove the question and display the prompt. And then if they hit no, then they get taken back to the question. And if they hit yes, then they'll continue forward. So we'll just fix that little bug on there. Oh, there we go, it's class equals. We'll save that. So we tested the no and it worked. It took us back to the quiz. But we want to make sure that the question doesn't display if this is displaying. So we'll use ng hide on our question and use this same finalize flag. So we'll scroll up to our question here. So this well, so this is the gray box that holds the question. And we'll say ng hide equals quiz dot finalize. And we'll save that. And now again, we'll skip through the questions quickly. And there we go. The prompt displaying the button's nice and the question has disappeared. If we click no, the prompt disappears and we're back at the questions. Then of course, if we click yes, nothing will happen because we haven't created that function yet. So now we can create this finalize answers function. So that will be in our controller. So we'll declare it up at the top. So we'll say VM 
dot finalize answers equals finalize answers. We'll save that, make sure I added the S onto there, I did. And we'll scroll down to the bottom and create this function. Function finalize answers. And then inside here, we just want to reset everything that we've done throughout the course of this controller being in existence. So we will say vm.finalize equals false. We'll say num questions answered equals zero. And we'll say vm.active question equals zero. And now we're going to call a function that we haven't created yet, which is on the quiz metrics service. And we're going to call it mark quiz. And then we will call quiz metrics dot change state. Now, if you remember, we created change state a while ago on here. And all it does right now is you pass it in a state and it will change quiz active to whatever state you give it. And that works fine for now because we've only got the quiz active here. But now we're going to add in the results page. So we're going to have a results active. So I want to modify this change state function to take a second argument that allows us to change the state of either the quiz or the results page depending on what we pass in here. So I'm going to create a results active and set this to false at the start. And then in this function, I'll pass it a metric as the first parameter and a state as the second parameter. And then we can say if metric equals quiz, then I want to take this else if metric equals results, then I want to say quiz ob dot well, results active equals state. And then we'll just give an else. So if something, if there's a metric that's passed in that we don't recognize, we just return false. So now we can come into our quiz controller and pass in quiz. And we want to set the quiz state to false. So it's now at the end of the quiz and we'll copy that line and we'll change this to results and we'll set that to true because we want to trigger the results page now. And that's our finalize answers function. But this change state function was used inside our list controller, passing just one parameter. So we need to go back to our list controller and change that to make sure we don't break our code. So we'll head into our list controller and here we've got the activate quiz function which calls change state. And we want to change the state of the quiz to true because this activate quiz is obviously activating the quiz. So we want to change state of quiz to true, save that, head back into our quiz controller. So now we need to create the mark quiz function, which is what we'll tackle in the next video. For those of you that haven't checked out my website yet, I do a full article write up for every single video that I put out on YouTube and that will include code snippets and other little things that will help you along. The link to the write up for the current video is on the bottom left of the screen. 
And if you just want to continue watching this video series, then just click the link in the center of the screen and we'll get started with the next video.